Good morning, YouTube. This is Saturday morning beauty at its finest. Figure your girl's gonna do some random beauty things today. One being these lovely little under eye. I don't even know how to describe them. I'll just show them to you. They are these to go spa. So I guess I'm doing some spa stuff today. It's coconut eyes. And you just place these little bad, these pads, that's the word I was looking for. Your eyes for 20 minutes and they just kinda de-puff, brighten, soothe, moisturize, all that good stuff. So we're gonna try to work on these puffy eyes this morning. So I figured I would just slap these on. As I'm driving to the gym, when I get to the gym, I'll take them off, I'm gonna get a workout in. And then Jason and I booked, um, there's a place in Syracuse called Sonicuse. They have infrared saunas that, I don't know like all the technical details, I just know I like saunas. <laughs> and there's different lights and colors that you choose that are supposed to be good based on like whatever you're trying to achieve, whether it's like joint pain or inflammation or weight loss. I guess there's like different color combinations for the lights that they use. So Jason and I are gonna do that together today, see how it makes our bodies feel. That's all I know right now. So I'm gonna drive to the gym looking like this and get in my workout and hopefully look next. Less crazy. I can't talk because I haven't had caffeine. I need caffeine. Um, what I have taken so far this morning, I shall show you, is my regulator. I got this in this week, I've been taking it, and we are making shit happen up in here. It's been great, so I'm taking that three. You can take three at once, first thing in the morning, that's what I've been doing. If you're a bit more sensitive and not used to probiotics, you could split it up and just take one, um, you know, before each meal, three times and do it that way, or you could just take one a day and try it out, up to you. Everyone's body is a little bit different, but like I said in the regulator video, tried to formulate a combination that had kind of a nice mixture of pre-probiotics and digestive enzymes that would meet the masses and help the average person. So you guys can get that at tigerfitness.com, and that's it. <laughs> So I just got to the gym and I still look like this. I'm literally the ugliest person on YouTube. This is ridiculous. I kind of just want to leave them on though and go in the gym. I feel like that should be socially acceptable. I mean, why not? But I did want to mention, you guys ever feel like you would just be BFFs with someone if you met them in the real world. And I know you know what I'm saying, because I've had some of you say that to me, and you're like, don't think I'm creepy, but I think we'd be best friends. And I don't think you're creepy, because I totally get that. And I am currently obsessed with Stephanie Alita. Letta, I'm probably saying her name wrong. She's been on YouTube, like, longer than me. I don't know why I'm just finding her. And randomly do I find her, and then I realize she literally lives in upstate New York. Like she lives practically down the street from me. This girl has like a million subs and I can see why. Like I'm currently going through watching all of her Vlogmas videos and I feel like I need to meet her because we'd be best friends. Like, I don't know. Anyways, really like her channel so I thought I'd share because you guys sometimes like newer channels. For myself, I honestly haven't been watching a lot of other fitness YouTubers because I just feel like, you guys want me to take these off now while I talk to you? It doesn't look much cuter when I take them off. For me, I feel like I do a better job on my channel if I'm not watching other fitness YouTubers. I don't know why. I think because sometimes I used to watch other YouTube channels and think like, oh, I wish I could be like doing more of what they're doing instead of just focusing on me. So like that's a big thing. I'm just trying to focus on me. So anyways, I keep watching all these makeup YouTubers which give me these false realities that I'm going to be able to actually do my makeup like these girls and look like them. Not look like them, but do my makeup like them. And it never happens. I always, my makeup always looks exactly the same. But if you guys want a if you want me to do a makeup video, I think it would be kind of fun to try that out. I'm all about trying out new things on this channel this year. You know, I'm doing the clothing hauls, but I'm just, I want to do different things to like keep it fun for me personally. And you know, I'll always do the fitness nutrition thing, but it's kind of fun to throw in other little things. And I'm, I am like half and half. I'm like half a tomboy and I'm half super girly girl. So I like to incorporate that stuff too, but. I am not good with makeup. I try to be. My sister is amazing. She's a total bombshell with it, but I'm trying to learn. I'm trying to get there. All right, so anyways, 
I'm a little annoyed. I had a package that should have been at my house four days ago and it's not there. Hopefully it'll be here today. I have a lot to do today and I'm just gonna vlog and take you along. Right now I've got about a solid hour to get in a workout so I think I'm gonna do like a modified quick like upper body blast and then I want to do some cardio so that's the game plan. We'll see you soon. Oh and also if you guys happen to follow Stephanie head over to her channel throw your girl a bone and tell her she should uh, connect with me. Let's get a collab in sister i.e. How about you do my makeup so I can look fabulous because I, I am not skilled like that. So let's let's do it. Jason and I are living our best lives today. And I'm just gonna keep looking like this because we're going to the infrared sauna now. Sweat it out and we're gonna go in together because you can go in as a couple, watch some Netflix. Mm -hmm. We're so gonna pick out the lights. hundred dollars a month and it would be the Discover package. So there's the different benefits. Based on what lights you pack. Oh my god. <laughs> it's a Saturday afternoon. It's one o'clock. And this is literally how I'm presenting myself to the public. It's like I live with a scrub 24 <laughs> 7. I just, I've, I've gotten to like a new level of not giving any fucks. It's really, it's got me a little concerned. But we just finished the sauna, it was really good. And now I've got my bag of Victoria's Secrets misfits that I don't want. We're gonna try to return and get some coffee. So I'm gonna make some chicken for Jason and I in the air fryer. This will be a quick, easy, healthy recipe for like a breaded chicken substitute. So I'm gonna take the chicken. I'm going to pour some of this in a bowl and then dip the chicken in that. And then I'm gonna do, because I didn't realize I'm running out of oats, a combo of rolled oats and oat bran and seasonings. And that's gonna go on the plate. And we're gonna use that to bread it. We bread it like that. And we're gonna air fry that. See how it turns out. are my healthy, I guess chicken nuggets you could say, because I cut them up in like small little tender pieces. I did end up using some of the oat bran too. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that's gonna be for me and Jay. I'm gonna pop that in that B. And let's, uh, let's cook it at like 400, I don't know. And we're gonna stay for like, let's give her like 15. As a side to the chicken, I'm making this butternut squash rice, which, Kind of turning a little mushy, so I'm thinking it's probably on its way out the dawa. So we just added some garlic to it, cut up a little bit of onion, heating that up. Have that with the chicken. Lunch is done. Jason approved. I cooked him some as well. They're good, right, Boo? Mm hmm So I ended up. There's like drool everywhere. <laughs> These are the ones with the oat bran on it. Those turned out a little crusty. I ended up cooking them 20 minutes in there. Turned out good. I think I'm gonna use some of this. This is a little tangy, I kinda like it. So I might use that with it. And then my butternut squash rice. I'm a little extra and I put some whipped cream cheese in there, one serving and mushed it all in there. And then on top, I've showed this before, but it's kinda fun, the no salt herb seasoning. Did you use that, Jack? A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. And then some asparagus, because I haven't eaten asparagus in a long time, and I felt like the, to be honest, I felt like the plate needed something green. My little tassels. They spelled it right, too. I know. I spelled it on the phone there. Oh. <laughs> I was like, send the wine man over, please. I've got some wines to sample. Would I like to sample? Yes, I would. Let's try this it's nice. I have no idea what either of them were called. They were way too long, the names of them. Um, 
Yeah. Those are like the girthiest shrimp I've ever seen. They're so <laughs> This restaurant, like the ambiance, it's not cute at all. Does this give you a little bit of light? <laughs> the lighting is bad. Oh, it gives you raccoon eyes. Yeah, it's like nothing looks good about this right now at all. But the food's good. But the ambiance, that looks good right there. The sky. But it's just a little weird. But the food is nice. We appreciate the wine. And we're out celebrating tonight. Get in here, little guy. Big guy. Big guy. Big guy. Come on, guy. We are actually celebrating. Celebration. There is going to be, I'm going to do a separate video talking about it, but um, Jason and I have joined into an excellent business uh, partnership Partnership with Mark Lobliner in Pervitum. So I'm going to do a separate video talking about that and what that entails and what that means for very us, for the channel, for you guys, and for the Driven Series. So what that came to fruition last week, last so we celebrated, and then everything yes. was signed. Yes, we signed the contract. January 31st. Was it the 31st? Yep. Yep, so officially signed as partners with Pervitum, and it's going to be, this partnership just makes so much sense. Like it does. It's, it's crazy to me. We're both mind blown and just very... And being able to even, like, we've worked, we've, like, Mark's, like, family to us. Yes. And... Just having more opportunity to work with him even closer is yeah, awesome. It's very awesome. Very people don't know what kind of awesome person he really is. Yeah, they, they, they don't they see only it. See, like, they only loud see loud, like funny YouTuber. Mark. Yeah, they don't which really is like funny, him. but I really like him when he's like away from all that. <laughs> He's just a really good dude. He is. So, we celebrate tonight with water. With a little red wine. Some water. And some filet for this lady. Living my best life right now. Filet with this demi glaze sauce, broccolini. And what looks to be, I'd probably estimate like two, maybe three ounces of whipped sweet potatoes. So, how I will track my macros going out to eat, because this isn't a chain restaurant, but what I'll do is find like a similar restaurant that offers a filet with a demi-glaze sauce, and I'll add this kind of in there, just estimate portions along with my wine, maybe add a little extra fat for the things I ate, but it's pretty much it. It's pretty easy eating out and estimating macros. And Jason's salad looks real good too. Yep. There's squash in there and cranberries. This is the second time I've had squash today. Oh, it is. Yeah, you had butternut squash rice with me. Looks good. 